expert reveals why he would never invest money into Cardano. Does this ring true? That's what you're going to find out in this video, so make sure to stay tuned until the end. From 2021 until today, it was a memorable time for Cardano with the introduction of smart contracts and proof of the coin's approval from the U.S. Federal Reserve. Meanwhile, ADA has recently been hit by a bearish market condition because its performance has been negatively impacted by the crypto market's bear run, dulling its glitter considerably. Let's talk about the reasons why we should or should not buy Cardano today. While Cardano has been acknowledged as the academic blockchain that has been examined and tested, truth is Cardano is still a work in progress. Furthermore, there are also many reasons why people should vary their opinions on Cardano, but the main reason is that it is evolving slowly. In addition to this, Cardano takes a long time to develop as it undergoes a technological change to keep up with competition. Consequently, Cardano has been losing ground against EOS and Ethereum for quite some time. In contrast to cryptos such as Ripple, which can process a thousand transactions per second, Cardano is still focused on scalability as it continues to deal with unfinished smart contracts and token specifications. Moreover, the maximum number of transactions Cardano can process in a second is 257. However, with numerous delays in the past pushing back releases, the development of Cardano is well behind schedule. Additionally, a concern is the recent introduction of smart contracts and decentralized applications by Cardano. And this is hugely concerning since these are the key elements we are interested in as it might effectively be a cryptocurrency alternative to Ethereum. Further, it fuels the fear that the vast majority of Cardano's value is based their decisions on hype. Aside from this, they continually claim to have the best research papers, yet they fail to provide much evidence. Arguably, one of the most significant disadvantages of Cardano is the fact that it lacks the first mover advantage. In addition, Ethereum, the second largest blockchain network in the world, along with its native cryptocurrency Ethereum token, will need to overcome obstacles caused by a highly competitive market, since the barriers to entry to the blockchain and cryptocurrency markets are extraordinarily high, there is a chance for existing platforms and cryptocurrencies to gain momentum and compete with more established crypto projects. There are, however, other other competitors that continue to emerge to capitalize on blockchain technology's numerous applications and benefits. Another example is Cardano, which intends to implement the following voting system. Considering that an open voting system will allow for upgrades to be proposed for approval or rejection is an intriguing prospect. But there is a downside because token holders are not always familiar with technology and could vote for an illogical option. Additionally, Vlad Zamfir, an Ethereum researcher who studies proof of stake, says that on-chain voting can be harmful and may force nodes to make modifications. Despite having excellent potential, Cardano faces several obstacles. In addition, it faces several challenges in reaching its ambitious goals due to its desire to perform several tasks. Also, we have reasons to be optimistic about this project since its founder and management team have a proven track record. Nevertheless, we should know how they plan to address user concerns like governance, user fragmentation, smart contract challenges, and legacy regulatory issues while remaining user-friendly. Upon attaining these goals, Cardano Cardano may soon be included among the top cryptocurrencies, along with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Although the scope of its goals makes it more speculative than many other cryptos, it is currently the most feasible. Therefore, what may be the reason some experts will never invest in Cardano? Could it be because of the recent report that suggests that after the second week of March, Cardano's price may crash 50% if bulls fail to defend key support levels? Since Cardano's price has been on a downward trend for so long, it is currently testing a support level that holds a lot of significance. Further, this foothold must be maintained to prevent a massive correction to a level last seen in early 2021. Furthermore, Cardano's price has fallen roughly 74% from its all-time high of $3.104 and is now trading at about $0.789. According to the volume profile indicator, the volume traded for ADA starts to thin out at $0.805 and continues to thin out over $0.381. In this way, the bears will take control if a decisive close occurs below $0.805. Then an increase of 50% from the current position would result in a 50% drop to $0.381. As such, bulls have one final opportunity to contribute to the price impact, and in the absence of such action, it may arrive at a capitulation level crash. Even though this is bearish, it would indicate that Cardano's price has bottomed. 
Moreover, within the past few months, the price of Cardano shaved through 50-day, 100-day, and 200-day simple moving averages. And the bear rally continued throughout the day as attempts to move higher were capped. In any case, if Bitcoin's situation improves, Cardano's price is likely to see some bullish reactions as well. Also, as long as ADA closes above the 50-day SMA at $1, then the bearish thesis will be invalidated. Hence, the Ethereum killer will likely attempt to build on the current volume point of control at $1.20, where the next crucial hurdle lies. On the other hand, why is it considered that now is a good time to buy Cardano? Maybe it is because of a recent report as we approach the second weekend of March, claiming Cardano turned bullish following the Ukraine NATO news. After the early bullish price action passed, the price of Cardano saw some bullish price movement return. The news regarding Ukraine's new stance on NATO caused markets worldwide to flip on their heels, with equity markets turning bullish and commodities dropping to their lowest levels in years. Exactly how long this shift will last can only be determined by time. Moreover, the Cardano price action has responded to some relief, but the overall structure remains extremely bearish. On March 8th, the price of Cardano spiked sharply during Tuesday's session. In addition to this, Ukraine's President Zelensky announced during a live press conference that Ukraine may not seek NATO membership any longer. And in his previous statements, Russian President Putin stated that Ukraine's abstention from joining NATO was a condition for their invasion of Ukraine to end. Following President Zelensky's comments, markets turned positive with the Nasdaq moving up 2%, WTI dropping from 6% to 2%, Cardano reaching a high of 3.4% and Bitcoin increasing 3.6%. Furthermore, Cardano's price has since cooled down a bit since then, but cryptocurrency prices have remained positive. However, at the moment, Cardano's price is in a very bearish state. As of today, it is trading only a little below a major capitulation level that could lead to a significant significant drop to the area of 34 cents value. Furthermore, the volume profile virtually disappears between 79 cents and 35 cents, indicating a huge crash very soon if bulls fail to support ADA. Also, Cardano's price is near-term support at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement at 78 cents. Furthermore, the Chiku span is also acting as a support zone at the top of the Ichimoku cloud. It appears that the weekly oscillators will soon provide some early indicators that a bullish bounce is imminent. Accordingly, the relative strength index sits just above the first oversold level at 30, and the level is held as an important support level. Furthermore, the RSI is currently trading at its lowest level since March 2019. As with the composite index, Cardano's price is near historical lows and has formed regular bullish divergences, given a further indication that a turnaround may be on the way. For near-term bearish projections, projections of a price collapse in the $0.35 cents value area to remain invalidated, Cardano's price must continue to close above $0.79 cents each day. As a further result, the crypto markets have been in a downtrend in 2022 due to the Ukraine-Russia crisis. News of Biden signing a crypto regulation executive order, recession fears, and is correlated with a correction in the S&P 500. Though there is good news for Cardano investors. Its developers made announcements about three major enhancements coming in 2022, one of which has already been implemented. So does Cardano hold the potential to become Ethereum's successor? It is more likely than not that developments to Ethereum 2.0 will improve gas fees and transaction speeds, thus removing some of the benefits of Cardano. In addition to ADA, there are other altcoins and Layer 1 crypto projects that can compete to be a cryptocurrency of equal power to Ethereum. Additionally, any altcoin project can be abandoned by its developer. The developers of most altcoins, unlike Satoshi Nakamoto, whose origins are unknown, have moved on to other ventures, and the projects they started have disappeared or never recovered. Litecoin has been in a bear market versus Bitcoin for four years since Charlie Lee sold his coins at around $400 and moved on to different projects. Despite its 4,000% price increase from its initial trading price, Cardano is still 4,000% higher than its original trading price. Other altcoins have dropped 90% and then another 90% on top of that. It's not unheard of in crypto. Cardano could crash back down to two cents in such a case, although it is unlikely given the variety of crypto projects running on it. Generally, it takes a black swan event to topple the entire crypto market, and even those can be temporary. After March 2020's COVID crash, 
where Bitcoin plunged to $4,000, it rallied to new highs in the following months. According to one opinion, the lower the price for a crypto asset goes, the higher it can rise, as longs are liquidated and more of it can be held by holders who bought the dip on low prices and won't sell. And there is a possibility that the crypto crash may have been the catalyst for the cryptocurrency's rise. In light of recent Cardano news, what are your thoughts about any expert's decision? Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.